Hi friends. So tonight is shrimp and grits and I'm not going to lie. This is something that you got to have a little bit of food for because you got to have the shrimp. But pretty much everything else is a staple in your refrigerator or pantry. So chicken broth, you should have that. Grits, I don't know. Mike loves grits so we always have it. Um, salt, cheddar cheese. This is calls for white cheddar. I'm going to use regular cheddar or Parmesan or whatever's in there, heavy cream, butter, garlic powder, black pepper, bacon, shrimp, garlic, and chives, and smoked paprika. It's so good. This is one of my absolute favorite cookbooks, Magnolia Table, Joanna Gaines. Um, in fact, some of the recipes in here are straight from the silos in Waco, and if you've ever been to the silos and eaten. Oh, it's really, really yummy. So get this cookbook and no need to stand in line because you can make it yourself. All right, so I have my bacon going. I went ahead and chopped it and I am boiling some chicken broth and some water. So I'm gonna cook the grits in this in a second and then I'm gonna add in the cheese and the cream and the butter um, and the garlic powder and the pepper and then I'll put that to the side and then I'm going to cook my shrimp in the bacon grease. Okay so this is the shrimp that I buy. It's cheap, it's easy, it's fast. So I'm going to cook this in the bacon grease with the garlic. Okay this I'm just sauteing. I actually turned my heat off for a minute and then now I just turned it back on and turned it down because these cook really fast. And I will be honest, I always overcook shrimp. Once they start turning pink, that's when you know they're done. My water is still boiling. I turn the heat up on that. I'm just getting used, still getting used to cooking with gas. I've only been cooking with gas for like a year. And that was one of the things I love about this house is I have gas. I mean, I don't have gas. The house has gas. Well, you know what I mean. Okay. So it's almost done. We'll put the grits in there, cook the grits. When you do the grits, it's simple. It's just a cup. And then just stir it until it thickens. Let me go pick up the grits. Okay, so when you're cooking grits, it's let the water and the chicken broth come to a boil, add it in, stir it. You just kind of stir it and leave it. Um, when it starts to thicken, turn the heat down and continue to stir. This is, this is a pretty thick consistency, um, but I'm going to add some cheese. The recipe calls for white cheddar. I personally love Parmesan, so I like, I'm going to add some Parmesan to it. It's half a cup, so I'm just going to kind of add some. I'm not really going to measure that. Some things you have to measure, some things you don't. Um, so stir that in. That'll get thicker. If you want more, add more, less, add less. Then you're going to add in the butter. And it's three tablespoons of butter. Butter. Three tablespoons of butter, so let me add butter over here. Okay, we'll come back over here, add the butter. And then it's half a cup of cream in my messy kitchen. It's really not messy. Half a cup of cream. And then garlic powder and some pepper. And as you've heard me say before, garlic pepper has, or garlic, powder has a place in everything I make. So even though I used fresh garlic in the shrimp, 
I'll use garlic powder in here and some pepper. See how nice and thick that's getting yummy. All right, I'm gonna add garlic powder, some pepper, and then we'll start assembling it. Okay, okay, so when you plate it up, it's grits, shrimp, and then some chives, a little bit of more cheese, and some bacon.